What's going on everybody? We're here to give you another tutorial, another repair tutorial for the Xbox 360 Samsung DVD drive. Um, this is going to be to replace the eject motor. Um, and commonly things you should look for is that obviously if this gets stuck or starts coming out very, very, very slow or will stop halfway through while it's ejecting and then shoot back in. Uh, and obviously if it doesn't eject whatsoever then that's a very clear sign that that's what you need to replace. Um, now you could just replace the motor uh, and sometimes more than any times you could actually just replace the um, uh, the belt that goes from the drive to the motor uh, and usually that's what's worn out. The, the uh, motors are actually pretty solid on them so um, if you can actually find a way uh, to only uh, get that, then that would be great and probably save you a few bucks. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out taking out these four screws for the outer shell. And uh, failed to mention that you will be needing a jewelry screwdriver or electronic screwdriver, Phillips head. Uh, just something small enough to be able to get in there and uh, take all these out. Okay. Now you just gotta slide it right off. And then there's that part. Now for this we will need to eject, eject this uh, because there's rub there's the belt on top and we have to remove it from the bottom. So it uh, does have to be removed from both ways. Uh, the way to get it to eject, um, there's a little white piece here if you uh, see right there. All you have to do is just slide that, and then as you can see, it kind of popped it out. Alright, first what we're going to do is this is the belt I was talking about. And if you just bought the belt because you hope that that's all that's wrong, all you're going to have to do here is just take this belt off, right here, and then put take the new one and put it on there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, take out the motor as well that way uh, just in case because sometimes the motor does go bad. Um, first we'll need to go ahead and unscrew these two screws here and those are actually attached to the motor part of the, uh, the whole unit. It's actually a motor and a little PCB board. Okay, now we'll set that aside. Alright, now we're going to flip it back over. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're going to take this ribbon off. This is the ribbon. So all you got to do is just kind of give it a little tug. You don't even have to take this out yet if you don't want to. You probably will when we put the new one in there. Then there's a screw right here on the back of this board. And you got to take that one out. Okay. Now there's a little clip that holds this in. So what you got to do is just kind of work it out a little bit. And it pops out. And then since we already took those other two screws, this motor part will pop out as well. Uh, now you do kind of got it, uh, when you put it back in there, you will have to kind of line it up, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, let me get the uh, place in here. Okay, now, uh, pretty much we'll just be doing the reverse. Uh, it's pretty simple to tell because, uh, you know, the ribbon goes the one way, so you'll know that this board has to go on there a certain way. Um, I would just put the motor in first. Okay, and you see it's kind of locked in there, and the uh, wire will always be facing this way, so that's a good way to tell if you've got it in a good position. Next, you'll have to slip it under this little clip and uh, work it around until you kind of got it locked. You'll see that there's some little pieces that'll kind of go into it. Now we're going to take the screw and uh, screw this back in. I'm going to go ahead, uh, we're going to take the PCB board off. What you got to do is uh, uh, pull that clip back and then pry this up and pull it out. Now you're going to have enough room. Uh, you always want to make sure that the, the uh, showing wire parts are on the top and the blue uh, pull right here is on the bottom. Then you just take it and line it up. Luckily there are black marks so you can kind of see where it's supposed to go. Okay, and then you can go ahead and put this back in, like so. Now, we're going to flip it back over. 
first, uh, make sure you're going to want to make sure you see two little holes where your screws go. If you don't see two holes going through and you only see a solid piece of metal, then you're going to need to move your motor around to get it lined up. All right, now if you've got everything lined up, you've got to put these screws back in there. Like so. All right, now the next thing is getting the uh, belt put back in. I always start from back here, put it in this way, and get it hooked around that belt, and then hook it on there. Now, you want to move it back and forth a little bit, and you see both pieces moving, then it's in there. Sometimes uh, the belt can actually slip underneath, and so if that's the case, it won't move correctly. Uh, so if it is, then you just have to pull it out and then put it back on. But that's all for that, and you just close it back up. Now we're going to put the outer case back on, just slides right back on, kind of like how it slides right back off. Now we're going to get the four screws and get those back in. Um, while I do this, I just like to say I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out my one of my repair tutorials. Make sure and subscribe. I've got a lot of other tutorials up and uh, a lot of other cool stuff like uh, case.